Yeah, go ahead, Scott. I was going to say, can I just add something? Because I was kind of attacking and sardonic in my first answer. Um, I, I do want to say, if, if you're one of these people who has had such a hard time and for years and years you just can't seem to figure out why the young ladies don't find themselves attracted to you or, or you don't seem to notice that, um, may I suggest something? Stop thinking about yourself and your needs and focus on being of service. See, this clown in the van People wanted to make an that. impact in life because he felt that nobody cared about him and nobody noticed him, and so this he was gonna make a big splash. Why don't you make your splash by volunteering to serve in some way, by giving back, by helping other people, by putting the focus on really, you know, the way you get loved is to show yourself to be lovable. And the way you're, you become lovable is by loving others. And love doesn't mean affection and ooh, kissy kissy. Love means sacrificial involvement in the lives of others. Why don't you get involved in other people's lives in a way that blesses them and maybe you'll find that while you're paying attention on serving, somebody's watching you, somebody like notices, that. and wow. somebody falls in love with you. I'd like to add something to that, too, um, in terms of practical advice. You do not, un I'm speaking to one of these um, incels, uh, this is going to come as a shock to you, honestly. But there's somebody in your school who either has a crush on you or, or, yes. or, or thinks you're pretty cool. And, and you don't see that person because you're just looking at the Stacys. Yeah. And uh, as somebody who has dated a bunch of Stacys and also dated a bunch of real people, I can tell you that you're, you're looking at the wrong target, you're barking up the wrong tree, but nothing will convince you of that until you actually do it, and I understand how that works. So from a sheer, sheer practical point of view, my strong suggestion would be, why don't you just look at these uh, less glamorous, less interesting people who you assume on the outside are less uh, valuable, and why don't you just uh, pay some attention to some of them and go out on some trial dates just to build up your school, your skill set so when the you know when Stacy comes along you'll be set to go and chances are excellent that you will find yourself much happier cured of this horrible mm -hmm. disease looking back on my time but looking back on my friend's time in high school he said to me uh, there was a, there were looking back on it he realized there were a number of people who who were interested in him he didn't see at all yeah. And, uh, and he deeply regrets uh, being that blinded by ego and pride because that's essentially what it is.